This will be a remembrance of this. This Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Are our heads being cut off? They sure are. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, for those of you that are new here, and if you're not, welcome back. And I'm Grandma Joyce. <laughs> Dearest Grandma Joyce, did some storytelling about Grandma's first Thanksgiving, so if you want to get ready with us and see how Grandma got this beautiful face, <laughs> and Caitlin got her beautiful face, <laughs> then just keep watching. I don't want her running notes being shown. Yeah, you park it. <laughs> So, happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> happy Thanksgiving! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Caitlin and I are having a happy Thanksgiving. Give me a kiss. <laughs> we are having a happy Thanksgiving. See, you really turn it on for the camera. I do. Yeah. She, I'm, a, I'm an actress. She turns it on for you guys. Everybody's dying to know what your first step is in your makeup routine. Uh, lip gloss. I see you and I raise you to a lip mask. Do you want to try this? All right, I'll try that. This is a pro tip. You dig your nail and you get it on the top of your nail. A little bit. Yeah. Lush? This is from Sephora. How would you say it? <laughs> Lanage. Now here's the next question. Yes. Do you prime your face? No. I put on You go right a in foundation. With, wow, you go right in with foundation. So you want me to prime my face, okay? I'm going to prime my face yeah, with your you, product. You want to give it a try? This helps your makeup last longer and huh. look better, they say. It's slippery. Whatever. And then you go in with foundation? Yes, don't you? Well, then... What do you do? I take a look and I say, hmm. wow, you look good. Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you look as good as you can look. Let's Which is put it that way. Pretty stinking good. Mm. I do a couple good presses just to make sure, and then I cross my eyes and I go. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. Like a turkey, yeah. I'm sweating a little bit. Yeah, I guess we'll go in with foundation. Is that where you want to go next? Well, that's what I would have done some time okay, ago. Okay, then I'll tell you, you would have been done already. I'll follow your tip from there. This is my new favorite foundation. What is it? This is by Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. And I use Maybelline. <laughs> if I can get it open. That I thought it. that was CoverGirl. It, it's Maybelline, though. Oh, it's Maybelline. Don't you use that every day? Every day. Cover Girl, Simply Ageless. Cover Girl, not Maybelline. But it is Maybelline's, honey. Honey, those are two different brands. Oh. I thought, this, I thought maybe, no. Uh, I wandered all over, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I, I need to cover the whole face, honey. You use the little sponge that comes with it, huh? I do. You're not a brush kind of girl? No, I've never used the brushes. You know, I'm like, I'm all thumbs when I use that. Cover as much as I can of the pink spots and brown spots and... Sun spots, you guys. Yeah, huh? Be very careful, ladies and gents. That sun did a lot of damage on me. So, does that look good to you? Look in the mirror? Yeah, it looks even. You're like a fast worker bee. Well, you know when I worked, I had to be ready by a certain time. People were picking me up. This is a really good place to do your makeup. Why is the that? the light's so good from the outside. Uh, well, you can just see, you know? Uh, you know, you gotta call a spade a spade. Yeah, yeah, well, you look in the mirror and you tell me what you see. I already told you, I said, wow. Well, you look good. So by the time I'm done with my foundation, my bicep kind of hurts. That's how I know I'm done. Well, I know I'm done when, when I don't see any. When you don't place. see any more, you want to cover up, right? Right. Do you even use concealer? No, no I kind of do. Oh, maybe today you should try. Because that would really brighten up the face. Bring a little light under, like in pretty close Ooh. in towards the, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna just use the same brush because I don't have my normal one. And I start at the outer. But you don't have to use that much. There she goes. Maybe just a little dab of concealer. You wanna try? Yeah. Ooh. And then you wanna use this brush? No, I use my hand. So then when you do your hand, you go like this. What do you think? From one side to the other. Oh, look at it. It looks brighter here. Okay. Hot. <laughs> Are you that hot? Yeah. I'm not hot at all, but see Maybe I you weren't swiffering fast enough. Put a little bit on some other places what to tie you? it all together. Is so, it blended okay? Yeah, for sure. So then what I do is just like a little bit, I'll go right here on my chin, on my cupid's bow, huh? down my nose, and then in my forehead. It draws all the attention to the oh, I do it. Oh, you look scared. 
and I'm not going to put it on here because we already have big ball noses. So I don't, I don't want to pull that forward, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You want to use this brush and you just push it in. Push it in. No smearing, push it in. Hold it like you mean it, like this. Like go, you do with a pen, hold it like that. Yeah, there you go. She's learning. What do I do with my little brush now? Oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> you're not pushing it and you're smearing it. No, I'm pushing it. I'm going like this, watch. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got it. Whew. Already I feel tired. <laughs> <laughs> this would be too much for me to do every day. Me too, that's why I don't do it. Okay, oh. then I set it and I think you do the same. I'm on E. Oh, wow, you really hit that. Oh, oh, wow, I like the grip you use. I just pat it. Can you guys hear that? Uh-huh. Yes. This is exactly like what you just did, but mine is loose and translucent because I don't want any extra coverage from this. Push. And then swirl. Ooh, I think I'll just stay where I'm at because that's only going to make me whiter. But then you add all the color back to your face. Mm, I'm gonna do what I do. You do what you do. Tell me about your first Thanksgiving. What was your first Thanksgiving like? And when was that? My first Thanksgiving that I cooked? Uh huh. <laughs> that was when I was traveling with Mick. Uh huh. And I was in Texas. And I decided I was gonna make a turkey. For the first time. For the first time. And dumplings. Oh. And sauerkraut. And I never made dump. I never really made anything before I got married. I mean, yeah. I didn't cook. So I bought the biggest bird <laughs> I could find, which is a tom, and they're tough. But I didn't know that. You didn't know that a tom was tough. No. Typical. So then I I made it, and when it was done, Mick invited another couple over. Uh oh. Yeah. Right. So it wasn't just for you and your husband at the time. It was another couple was invited, and there I am with this Tom, and there <laughs> they were on the floor with the drumstick. On the floor? Because it was so tough they couldn't eat it. But the breast was okay. Okay. So it was not a complete loss. And then, of course, I made the dumplings, which I had never made before. And I got the recipe from Grandma. And she didn't tell me that they grow. <laughs> <laughs> and so I only had so many pots to use because... All the places that we stayed when I was traveling with him, when he was in the service, were furnished. I had to use their pots. Well, she said to make two footballs, two small footballs. So it's like two loaves. Two loaves, yeah. So, okay, I did. And I filled the pot up with water, which wasn't a big pot. But it was plenty of room for the two little footballs. When, the way they started. Yes. <laughs> I was supposed to cover it, and now suddenly I hear the cover going plop, plop, flopping up and down, flop. Then I look in the pot, and they're growing. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I had to take one out uh -oh. to make room for the other one. Okay. Okay, now remember, I had guests coming, right? <laughs> and then I decided I was going to make the usual, and then biscuits, because that was in the South. Everybody had biscuits. I'm going to make biscuits. I forgot them. Where'd you forget them? In the oven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they were charcoal briquettes. <laughs> oh. I know. So no I, biscuits then, needless to say. No right? biscuits, no biscuits. Tough turkey. So what happened to that second dump, dumpling? Oh, I was ruined. Because it started cooking and then you had... Yeah, I had it. It was all gooey and, you know. That was my first... Thanksgiving, away from home, away from grandma's cooking and Bubby's cooking. Now what have you moved on to? And now I think that's how you learn, by making goofs, right? So true. And then after that I knew, and I, why I decided to make dumplings is because Bubby would always have Thanksgiving and she would always make dumplings, not mashed potatoes. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember your first Thanksgiving at all? Like of life? Yeah, the one that you remember. Do you remember any specific one? Mm, 
Not really, I'm nothing special. No, I remember going by your house when I was young. A lot of people. Yeah. Auntie Carrie, Jerry, Anthony, everybody. Yeah. And I never minded it then. Oh, so you're onto your eyebrows already. Well, honey. I just finished the face. I, so do you highlight? That's another question. Highlight. Today might be the day. You want to? What do you highlight? It brings a little bit of glow Go ahead. to your face. Make me glowy. Okay. Oh, you do a little blush on the chin, huh? Mm-hmm. Because I'm too white. No, you're not too white. Compared to everybody else I am, take a picture of me with everybody else and look. Thank you. Am I glowing? Yeah. Oh. You're it's, so speedy, it's hard. I'm just we didn't have all that kind of stuff growing up. I'm just trying to keep up with you. You can't. <laughs> Maybe I can. Now what are you, eyeshadow? Eyeshadow. Highlight underneath. Oh, she highlights the brow bone. What do you do if you make a mistake? Correct it. <laughs> <laughs> With what? The pencil. Because I am following my eyebrow. Who doesn't like a thicker brow? That's the way the cookie crumbles. Nobody can ever say they had to wait for grandma. Most people have had to say they've waited for Caitlin. So what kind of tones did you go for your eyeshadow? I went for a tan. Oh, and then in the crease, I like the purplish one. I read somewhere that if you're blonde, your lid should be dark. Oh. If you're dark, your lid should be light. I wish the one, both eyes were the same, but they're not. That's what I wish about my eyebrows. Okay, too much or okay? No, you're good. If you can, I would say the lid color, get it a little bit closer to your lash line. She was wonderful. That's all I know. She sure was. And she was my mommy, and I loved her. I know. She was always there for me. It's getting dark. Where's my eyes going? Where's my eyes going? <laughs> well, ladies, let me know if this is going to be worth it. We'll see how the final product goes. While you're on lips, I go for the same highlight I put on the face. Then I bring it to the inner corner of my eye, which I can do for you if you like. If anybody needs their eyes open, it's me. I got slits for eyes. I wonder why all of a sudden they seem so little. Oh, I forgot. Oh, let me see. Ooh. <laughs> Can you slip off your robe a little bit? And show a little shoulder? Yeah. I don't have a top on. Oh, well. She's trying to get me views. No. I'm actually going to use a lip pencil on my upper lash line. Now, Caitlin, I never quite know what to do here. I don't like to use too much on the bottom. Just go very light. So then what we can do, it's like a flat definer brush on the line you just did. You're going to go like this. And you see, it's just going to blend it out and it's going to make it look a little bit smoother. Just go slow and go soft. And here, let me too. Look up. I want to get to where you are because you got a lip on already. I'm always terrified. Because I get it all over. Smaller mascara wand. No, this is the only one I like. You know, one of like my first memories with makeup, Mom's Mascara, and I can't even think of the brand, but it's like the pink tube with the green wand. Yeah. You know that one? Green. It's just like one of the first makeup products like I ever really remember. It was very popular. Uh-huh. Great lash. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used it too. Refresh a little rouge. Rouge. Okay. I am done. But I'm fun. not far behind. You gotta do a little setting spray. Want it to smear everything? Nope, it sets everything so it won't move. <laughs> that way your makeup doesn't come off until you want it to. I'll wait till you do yours. Oh wait, smile? Bigger. Yeah, we're both all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this over your eyes, okay? So it doesn't mess up your mascara. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> the sky is falling, anybody. <laughs> Less facial expressions. Oh, I'm so calm. So unaffected. <laughs> Just helps keep everything where you want it. Like Kevin must look at you and think, how am I a lucky guy? Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? I can. Ta-da! You, you take this with, darling. 
Yes, darling. <laughs> you should with your pearls. I don't need it. You need it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Thursday. That's how it for today. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're celebrating. And if you're not, just have a wonderful day. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now. Oh, lip. I was, how about? Are you having fun, Caitlin? Yeah, aren't you? Yes.